Why do we get old? That's the question of the day. Please listen to my words or a price you'll have to pay. Let's say our body is this glass, all strong and tall and clear. And this water represents our stress that makes us act and fear. So if we pour this water in until it overflows, it's a physical reaction. Our body fights or goes. This action is amazing and can actually save your life. Like the response you'd have if a giant truck were coming towards you and your wife. A hormone that's called cortisol gets released from adrenal glands. That becomes the first domino to completely change the plants. Now your pupils dilate and heart rate starts to blast. Blood flow rushes to your limbs and helps you act real fast. God gave us this response from when the water is pouring in. But ultimately the water stopping represents a win. Many of us live in lives that rarely have big scares but many people live in lives with constant scoffs and stares. It's not a constant flow, it's significantly less. It's not a big explosion, we call it chronic stress. If your body were a vehicle, then stress is brake and gas, but at least you turn the engine off so your vehicle can last. Chronic stress just idles, but never turns it off. Quickly, you get burned out and pay a heavy cost. Chronic stress is tricky with different types to list, but better be aware or problems you've already missed. Emotional stress comes first of all. It's easiest to find. It happens with a pushy boss or in a time crunch bind. It's basically the stuff you think of when you think of stress. The kind of stress we talk about when things are all a mess. For sure this stress does play a part in the constant drip we feel but hidden causes we will find as we pull away the pill. The first of these not thought of stresses goes by the name of chemical. The food we eat, the air we breathe, and reactions academical. You see, when food goes in our mouth, our body has to cope. If vegetables and fruit go in, then the system has great hope. But candy bars and processed meat can lead to leaky gut. Over time, the chronic stress will kick you in the butt. Plus this nervous system called enteric, controlled by bacteria that's good, makes our second brain real happy when we eat the food we should. The final type of chronic stress can sometimes cause confusion. So now let's clear up physical stress to knock out all delusion. The sympathetic nervous system gets called fight or flight. So exercise and movement would be an act that's bright. While many people start these things to bring relief from stress, when taken to extremes, makes the damage like the rest. The problem comes when exercise gets way too overdone, like many hours of exercise or super long, long runs. So now you see how tricky that this stress stuff can really be. The remedy is coming, so relax or take a knee. Remember that this chronic stress is like a water pouring in. So now we have three options so the healing can begin. Option one is to stop the water's flow. This would mean to stop the stress or at least turn it real low. Assess the things you do in your normal day to day. Look at your daily habits and see if there's a better way. These changes can be challenging but rewards will come with time. If you stay consistent, then your life becomes sublime. Another thing that's good to do if water is pouring in is make the glass a little bigger than when you did begin. This feels somewhat impossible, a tough task to really do. It's what I call stress practice. Its principles are tried and true. Sometimes when you play a sport, coach says practice how you play. But in real life, it's hard to do in the regular day to day. One thing to do is start with tasks that are simple but push your grit. Then practice overcoming them with determination and wit. Another thing you can do to practice stress strength power is choosing to do tough practices like fasting or cold showers. All these increase capacity to conquer chronic stress. It's nice to build resilience that ends with strength from less. At last, we come to the final way to keep the water low. You could create a hole in the glass to reduce the inward flow. 
So if we say the glass is our body and the water is the stress we're filling, we find a way to let stress out and a hole in the glass we are drilling. The list of things to reduce our stress would be on a personal level. In light exercise, deep breathing, or music, you'd want to rebel. Meditation for me reduces stress more than any. I take some time and clear my head, deep breaths, and don't pay a penny. So now we look to chronic stress from lots of different angles, from what it is, to what it does, to how to stop its tangles. Now heed my words, this message is for every girl and boy. If you make good things your habits, you'll have so much greater joy.